I find that uh, a lot of users, um, a lot of them are performers, uh, entertainers, um, athletes that will use cannabis to uh, to like reset them uh, in, in their best mode, and uh, that means all the above. It means relieving stress. It means uh, letting them forget about some pains that are pulling on on, on their at least their subconscious, you know what I mean? I mean, there's so many factors into you feeling at your best and being able to output that that positive energy, and that's what you want, you know? That's what you want when you're, uh, whatever, if you're a musician, if you're an actor, if you're uh, uh, an athlete. A lot of normal people, too, you know, they, 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 they do that. And then there's, like, really, really sick people that use it just to get up to uh, be able to eat or take care of themselves and, and, and I know that too and I, and I see these people you know from personal experience. As I began to broadcast programs I realized that the medicinal use of marijuana was critical for people who could not take pharmaceutical prescription pain pills and it helped them dramatically and I have been a staunch supporter of the use of medicinal marijuana to help people like that. Where are the dead bodies the government promises you? The government promises you dead bodies, but we live longer than two years, a year and a half longer than the people that didn't do drugs at all in the Jamaica and the Costa Rican study. And every inference that we could get towards what an outline of an American study would be is that America people generally were better off when they smoked pot if they had nausea, seemed to beat nausea 95% of the time. If they had backaches, beats them. If they have headaches, beats them. Well, 100 years ago in the United States, the number one medicine for headaches was marijuana. And the number one medicine for backaches was marijuana. And the number one medicine for all these things was marijuana. And it was really funny. It was the only single medicine that doesn't pollute your body, that you can't die from. I don't care if you take too much vitamin B, you can die. But you can't die no matter how much pot you smoke. Unlike Bill Clinton, I can't say I never inhaled, 